Hey guys, it's Nicola. So this is your daily collective reading. This will be for June the 17th. Now starting next week when I do these collective readings, they will not be dated. They will just be a collective reading that I will do either the night previously. I think I want to start doing them the previous night or either that morning for the day. But I feel like I want to do them the previous night for the next day because that's just how I roll. You know what I'm saying? So I put up the two polls yesterday. Shit, that's the wrong thing. I put up the two polls yesterday on my community page for the new videos that I'm going to be incorporating as well as the format of the current videos that I'm going to be doing. And right now, um, for the daily readings, the daily collective reading with the monthly readings and the weekly readings by Zodiac is in the lead by far like it's really far in the lead so if you guys don't want to see that you want to see the daily weekly and the um, monthly readings per element that means air earth water and fire then you guys can vote for that but if you guys want to continue to see it the way that it's going meaning i give one daily collective reading a day and then you receive your weekly and your monthly zodiac readings well, I don't like where my lipstick is. Your monthly and your Zodiac readings. There we go. Um, per Zodiac, then we will then we will uh, continue go with that. So the next one we have is the bonus readings for the Pick a Card and the Twin Flame reading, um, and the X. Oh, oh, let me just undo that. And the X and Distant Lovers reading. So for right now, you guys chose the Pick a Card and the Twin Flame readings to be the one the bonus readings that I do um, I feel like that's a good uh, choice as well but if you guys don't want to see that and you want to see divine masculine divine feminine updates and ex and distant lover uh, readings you guys can vote for that if that's what you choose but these two have been neck and neck I'm gonna be real with you they legit have been neck to neck all right so let's get started all right we're gonna pull three of these archetypes guidebook I really like these. This is a collective reading. This would be for June 17th. And like I said, when we begin the daily collective readings next week, they won't have a date. They, they will, they'll, they'll really be like timeless readings, but I'll do one every day. All right, so let's see. I'm going to pull three of these archetypes guidebook. What message is for guidance? Is it three? If it's three, we <laughs> We got four. We're going to take it anyway. We got four. We got four. So let's put to the, this to the side. And I'm going to also put when the reading starts on here as well. Because seeing that I'm doing something new, these readings will be a little bit longer than what I normally do. And I am not about to rush. So Okay. Next. Let me. <laughs> my glasses is on. All right, so the first one we have is Shapeshifter. Let me let me find it first, and then I'll put, pick the card up so I can read it for you. I, I need to turn on the light, but I'm not because, you know, I want you guys to see this as well. So let's see what we have for Shapeshifter. And this is a part of the self. So this is something within you that you may be changing, you know, shifting could be a shift okay the shapeshifter has a love of theater games and trickery its energy appears as one thing only to reveal a more complex story below the surface the shapeshifter is within all of us to some degree it is a side of ourselves that is slippery non-committal and experimental and longs to dismiss the rules we we need its energy to adapt to the ever-changing landscape of our existence when the shapeshifter card appears, it is most important to imagine you are looking at life through a kaleidoscope rather than a single focus lens. At any moment, the scene may shift, revealing a more enchanting vision than you imagined. Be wary, though, as the allure of the kaleidoscope can leave you exhausted and yearning for solid ground. Dancing long term with the shapeshifter requires a certain pillar of integrity that links us back to our center. When in light, when in high vibration, this card can represent vibrant, adaptive, and humorous conditions. When in dark, this vibration can represent charlatan, people-pleasing, and trickery. Um, to go deeper, I guess, um, look into Cindy Sherman. 
It says the shapeshifter is related to the mass. Notice if these cards come up together in one reading. Notice if these cards, okay, so the mass, we don't have the mass here. It says, okay, we don't have the mass, so we don't have to worry about it right now. The ultimate shapeshifter works undercover in service of the greater good. The diminished shapeshifter becomes a people pleaser. So either you're in high vibration and you're shifting for the greater good of the people, of the planet, of us, of yourself, or you're just trying to please other people. You're just changing who you are to please other people, which is a no-go. Okay, baby, be you. 100% authentic you. All right, so let's read what we have for the mother. And this is a person or the self. So some of you guys need to nurture cha the changes within you is what I'm getting from those two cards. All right, anyway, 63. Went straight to it. So this is definitely a message here. We got the mother. All right, there could be some changes as, as, as well with a relationship dealing with the mother for some of you guys. It says, we begin our archetypal archetypal story with the mother's love through her sensual fertile and life-giving energy all creation takes form regardless of our birth story each of our hearts beat for the first time in the warm womb of the mother when she offered resources from her body for the building of our own yet her tale is not so simple as the mother especially on the earthly plane contains both light and dark aspects of the feminine Within the best of intentions, the mother wraps her loving arms around her creation and begins to grip what she what what she meant to set free. The mother the mother both the mother both the mother both it nurtures and prohibits growth. She gives yet clings. She creates yet restricts. Amid this complex energy, the mother holds the keys to the eternal challenge of love. When and light are in high vibration, this card can represent glowing, gen generative, creative, and nur nurturing. And nurturing. When in dark, this card can, re can represent being dim, exhausted, controlling, or limiting. To go deeper, read Tai Tai Te Ching, Chapter One, and imagine the mother of ten thousand things. Woo. Okay. Woo. All right. Notice how the mother archetype is expressed in nature. This perhaps this is perhaps the most balanced and benevolent form of mother's grace. Okay? The mother is a part of the trifecta trifecta maiden mother crone. Because of this because of the relationship between them, take special note when these cards appear in the reading. So we don't have any of those in this one. The riddle. Riddle me this. Okay. Alright, so let's see. The riddle, 171. This is considered a tool. So some of you guys are perplexed with the changes that are happening within yourself. I feel like you need to nurture them though. Let it happen. You know what I'm saying? Oh, here we go. When the riddle is present, one must stop searching for the right answer. It cannot be found, and ultimately it is not important. Rather, there must be a shift from the literal to the metaphorical, from logic to mythic. You are thinking too small and literally about the situation. The riddle card appears when the energy is deep and mysterious, like the elusive wisdom of the Zen koan. Zen koan. Focusing harder won't do it, neither will increased effort. Time, surrender, and humor are your only allies. What feels like the most pressing dilemma won't reveal its deeper wisdom for a, a long time. Eventually, you'll learn a profound lesson from the riddle. For now, get comfortable with the limitations of your intellect and the reality of not knowing. It may, in fact, be the only reality there is. So when in light, this card can represent a great awakening or an aha moment. When in dark or when in low vibration, this card is manipulation, deceit, and trickery. So for a lot of you guys, to go deeper, practice, practice bliss or the I don't know mind, meaning release. You don't have to know everything. Just allow whatever the fuck is happening in your life to happen. You remember a long, I don't know how long y'all been following me, but a long time ago I said, you need to just let go. You don't have to fucking know everything. I know we want to know everything. We want to know this, this, this. We want to know how point A gets to point B for point C to move over to point D to come up on the point C, point E. But you don't have to know everything. Sometimes you just got to live and let live. You got to be in the motion, be in the flow of life. So right now you're transforming within. You're shape-shifting within. Nurture the change and just allow it to fucking happen. We, had a, we got a dead in here. I don't know. I feel like for a lot of you guys, this dead end isn't a bad thing. I know it sounds bad because it means that something is coming to an end. But with every end, there's a new beginning. So 
you know just saying let's see 143 there we go 143 that's that's an eight so that's a cycle that is ending allow the transformation to take place i'm trying to tell you told you Contrary to what the name implies, what, what I tell you, <laughs> the dead end is very much alive. It is a force that stops us from moving forward as planned. It is thick, dense, uncompromising. A wall beyond all walls with every bramble, thorn, and stone. It simply states, no more, child. You have reached the last page of this chapter. It is natural to resist its very resistance and struggle even harder to make our, uh -uh, and struggle even harder to make our, make our way to prove our point to hold on to what was in this way we fight with life itself from a mythic perspective the end you face is very much a beginning there are doors opening all around you just not the one you plan on walking through if you are honest and courageous enough to accept adjust and adapt the dead end becomes known as life's beginning <laughs> But I mean, all right. So anyway, when in light, this card represents acceptance, humility, relief, and reverence for change. When in the dark, this card represents inertia, stuckness, tension, uncon unconscious griping. To so go deeper, listen to any, is it Kenny Rogers, a singer? Okay. Listen to Kenny Rogers. Oh, the gambler. You got to know when the fool. <laughs> You got to know when to fold. So let go. Allow this transformation to happen. If something is ending, allow it to fucking end. Because you have something greater that you've manifested. Let go and let God. That needs to be the motherfucking title today. Let go and let God, baby. You know what I'm saying? Also, listen to Donny Hathaway's Giving Up. I like this book. It give you songs and shit. You know, I love music. That's the, that, that's the, oof, I love music. Note that in most stories and movies, the moment the protagonist reaches the dead end, something riveting happens. You are, something riveting happens. You are the protagonist, okay? Reflect on dead ends in your past that led to unimaginable wonders. The moment you accept the ending, a feeling of grace will arise. Doors will begin, will begin to open both inside you. This B look like an eight. I was like, why is there an eight at the beginning? But it's B. Okay. To begin to open both inside you and in the world. So some of you guys, you need to allow a transformation in your life to happen. You will need to allow, you need to nurture the changes in order for you to grow, expand, to move, to prosper. Okay. All right, guys. So what? Hold on, y'all. All right. So my lips are going to do it right. So uh, <laughs> as you guys see, I have cards on my layout and when I went to change the uh, lighting so that you guys could see these cards it stopped recording I had no clue I I, I started reading this um, started laying the cards out so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to read this this here but then I'm going I'm gonna give a quick read on this just show you what I see but then I'm gonna reshuffle and we're gonna set some more cards out because this might be a message for someone but I feel like this is not the message for all of you guys because my, my thing stopped you know I take every sign and I seen an orb or something just flop out over here so I take every sign and the sign here the message here is this may not be for everybody so I'm going to reshuffle after I read this and then we're going to start over. The message that I have here is for a lot of you guys. I feel like you know within your heart, like you're very much in understanding of your emotions. You know you have a new opportunity here. Um, for a lot of you guys, the lack of worth or the lack of confidence within yourself is creating a blockage or creating a conflict to this sort of wealthy situation, stable situation. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're in a space of looking at a situation from the lens of regret, meaning there's something that has happened within your past that is causing you to have a negative or a regretful type of image or viewpoint on something. So for a lot of you guys, you're really needing to weigh out the pros and cons, see something realistically, become very discerning. And I feel like we had that in the messages. I feel like we had that in the messages here. You need to be very discerning of 
what type of energy you're allowing right now because there's a change that is happening within you around you and i feel like you know that things are happening or things are changing but you're worried um if you're making the right or the wrong choice the wrong choice is making a decision out of your fear or out of a negative perspective the right choice is making a decision based off of what you truly feel and for a lot of you guys you know in your heart that you have a new opportunity and there's an opportunity that's going to bring wealth stability within your life but in order for you to move toward that you have to change these other energies that you're having and allow the transformation to take place so let's shuffle and we're going to get the overall read i don't know who that was for but it's for somebody okay what messages do we have this is for june 17 2020 this is, I guess, the second reading. <laughs> what messages, what guidance do we have? This is for the collective. This is for June 17th, 2020. What messages, what guidance do we have for the collective? This is for June 17th, 2020. Messages, guidance for the collective. June 17th, 2020. All right. The grandmothers, grandmamas. All right. The moon. Magician. So some of you did, some of you guys did some moon magic. Or you put set some intentions out in the moonlight and that's for some assistance in reaching them. Um, I feel like Tower Three of Cups, you guys have been dealing with a third party situation, been dealing with a social situation. Tower Three of Cups, either there's some sort of third party that is being released or flip that. We're going to go high vibration because we always want to go high vibration. All of a sudden you could have a reason a reason to celebrate you could have manifested something in the moon and it could be coming to form ecstasy this came out in the in the other reading um but i don't know if it got that far to show on that or not i don't, I don't know so anyway with the lover's card here i feel like there's a decision that is being made here eight of cups here someone's making a decision i feel like someone's making a decision to really move forward emotionally toward what's going to make them happy king of cups or someone really un this is almost the same reading someone really understanding their emotions page of swords here i mean page of of wands here i really feel like someone's in the space of really identifying what they feel with inside of themselves this could be a new opportunity to go towards something that is going to make you happy it's good news but nine swords there are some anxieties um i feel like for a lot of you guys the anxiety that you feel is there's something that needs to come into alignment you're needing to really shoot for the stars here or shoot for ace of wands a new life a new opportunity i feel like you're being extended an olive branch for god from god himself um, because you've manifested this, you've asked for this, you've spoken this into the universe. Four of Wands here. For some of you guys, this has to do with changing your energy, changing what you've been energetically investing in. Eight of Pentacles here, really putting the work into building something for yourself. Death here. There's a transformation. Sunset. So something is ending. Someone is making a decision to move forward. Grandfathers. Star. Moon. This is a very cosmic change a cosmic shift some of you guys uh, the first the first reading was literally let go and let god and i feel like they, that you have to because there's a shift here you put an intention into the universe and it's happening so listen even if you didn't put on a piece of paper light a fucking candle do all some more stuff that you need to do in order to get this pushing you made a wish upon a motherfucking star. There's something here that has been manifested, either literal manifestation, meaning you put some magic out into the universe and it's being reflected in your physical existence now or through your emotions, because your emotions are super fucking strong. Through your emotions, you've manifested a shift within your life. There's a transformation that's happening. So yes, with the even with the oracle cards that I pulled right now, you need to be nurturing a change, nurturing a shift. Allow yourself to transform with your intentions. I like it. I like it a lot. All right. So let's get to clarifying. We have the lovers card here. Why is the lovers card here? We have the Queen of Wands. 
with the Six of Wands. So I do feel like you're moving toward victory. Six of Wands here represents victory. Queen of Wands means stop underestimating yourself. You have a decision to make. And I feel like for a lot of you guys, it is time for you to move in a new direction. Page of Swords, it is time for you to really see the value of investing in your own happiness. Being in alignment with your own ecstasy. So some of you guys are gaining what it is that you want. But it does require you to make a decision to allow yourself to move toward that. To really... It, I don't want to say grow emotionally or evolve emotionally because I feel like you know what you want. King of Cups, there's no more evolving emotionally after that. This is about the seeing the value of investing in what you feel. So a lot of you guys already feel like you need to move forward toward what's going to make you happy. Right now, it's about making that investment. It's about moving away from an illusion and stepping into your truth, your true happiness. Not what this, what we think is supposed to be happy, but truly what's happy for you. So we have the Eight of Cups here. Why is this Eight of Cups here? We have the Hermit card in reverse. And I love this Eight of Cups. Usually the Eight of Cups is somebody walking away from some cups. But you see how they're embracing this horizon, embracing ch this change. You could be in a space of embracing a change. Hermit card in reverse. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you have yet to identify this path because you've been dealing with a lot of confusion and been dealing with a lot of of negative or fear-based type of energy could also have been dealing with some negativity within your own energy um again i'm sorry we calling these signs out so we got gemini here i said i was going to call signs usually during the collective i don't because i'm doing this on a daily like in a daily reading i'm going to be calling out these signs so the first card i have is virgo gemini we have scorpio we also have gemini twice um i have scorpio twice so Gemini and Scorpio are very um, prominent in this reading. Oh, and Aquarius. Fucking see it. It's right there. Um, so I do feel like for a lot of you guys, and, 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 and with that energy, Gemini energy is about making decisions. Gemini energy is about speaking, bringing messages of you know things that have occurred. So for a lot of you guys, this is about speaking or decreeing what it is that you want and actually pushing forward toward that. Facing your fears or facing the darkness within yourself. Star energy as the outcome, seeing the bigger picture. So for a lot of you guys, yes. There is something that you're emotionally withdrawing from. You're looking over the horizon and allowing yourself to really focus on the happiness or focus on extending yourself emotionally forward as opposed to being stuck in the dark or stuck in a dark place. So King of Cups here, I do feel like you are identifying your emotions. You understand your emotions. You understand what's housed within you. Five of Pentacles here with the full energy. So even though you understand your emotions, you know I told you earlier, it's not that you don't understand the emotions or you don't feel them. You understand them. Page of Pentacles. You, I mean, page of Wands. You're in a space of not being honest or not being true to your own desires. Even though you understand your emotions, there's this worry of taking a leap of faith. There's this worry of really walking down this new path. Ace of Pentacles, you have an opportunity here. It's time for you to extend yourself, Empress here, to allow yourself to grow, to allow your true abundance to come into form. So with the Page of Wands here, I'll keep wanting to say Page of Pentacles, but it's the Page of Wands. The Page of Wands here, why is this here? We got Temperance here, Ace of Swords. So yes, time is now. There's a shift. There's a cosmic shift. The time is now for you to get out of this blockage, okay? Block the negative thoughts. Be in the space of bringing peace to mind here by eight of wands moving forward. The reason why you're feeling blocked or restricted within your thoughts is because physically, emotionally, spiritually, you're preventing yourself from moving forward by choosing to stay in that energy. Magician here. You have the capability to manifest what it is that you do truly desire, but you have to stop underestimating your abilities, okay? Face your fears and do it anyway. That was literally the message yesterday. All right, so we have the Nine of Swords here with the Ace of Pentacles. Some of you guys have anxiety about this new opportunity. Why is this here? Knight of Wands. You feel like, for some of you guys, you feel like you don't want to act impulsively. Eight of, Ace of Pentacles here. But I feel like your impulses are bringing you toward these new opportunities. You need to find your motivation to move forward. Knight of Wands, Ace of Wands. I mean, Knight of Wands, Ace of Swords, Ace of Pentacles. I feel like you need to find your motivation here. It's very clear that you need to find your motivation. Some of you guys are really seeing the clarity of not being happy previously. But the anxiety, you don't want your anxiety to become crippling. You don't want your anxieties to keep you restricted. So we have the Ace of Wands here. We have the Page of Cups in reverse. We have the 
lust card here, which is the strength. Um, in this deck, the number eight, which represents you know cycles. Some of you guys, this is a cycle of overcoming or a cycle of really trusting your desires. For a lot of you guys, page of cups in reverse, eight of cups in reverse. You're not in a space of really, yeah, six of pentacles in reverse. I feel like you have a new opportunity. Now, some of you guys could also be being presented with an opportunity. You're releasing that. You really are in a space. Someone, <sighs> shit. So for some of you guys, you're working on ending the situation because you see the bigger picture. For some of you guys, I'm going to be real with you. Someone in your past and I feel like we did talk about past energy previously. You're really in a space of walking away from someone. I do feel like there's some anxiety because, you know, the decision is 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 about walking away. The problem that I'm seeing here is for some of you guys, whoever you're dealing with, the reason why you need to walk this person is manipulative in regards to your emotions or just emotionally manipulative periods and that poses a problem because it creates imbalance within a connection to create when someone's emotionally manipulative true enough they may get what they want by bending someone's will but eventually that person is going to become uh, how do you say uh, I can't think of the word but they're gonna hate you uh, <laughs> They're going to despise you because they're going to become people are going to become aware that they're being emotionally manipulated or they're going to start seeing you as more of the problem as opposed to a solution and moving forward. So for a lot of you guys, someone may be extending an olive branch because this olive branch is associated with some un, unhappy emotions or some unhappy feelings. Page of Cups in reverse is dislike, okay? Eight of Cups in reverse is someone that needs to move on or someone that will not let go. And the um, lust card here is someone may be extending an olive branch of lust to you, meaning they may be extending their body. You're in the space of having the strength to overcome this lust um, in order for you to really move away from this situation. Usually, you know, I try to see high vibration here, but Six of Pentacles in reverse with the Moon card here. Some of you guys know it's no longer a secret. You know that this is an, un, in, an unfair situation or an unbalanced situation. So you are in the space of really manifesting based off what you feel. You're making shifts, making changes. It's cosmic because you're very much in high vibration while you're doing this. So we have the Four of Wands. Knight of Pentacles here. So this is, some of you guys are resisting. Yeah, you're very much in the space of building, taking time. You're changing your perspective around a situation. You're not going to allow yourself to crumble um, in the desires of whatever this is because it's no longer a desire. So Knight of Pentacles, you're really in a space of taking the steps necessary in order for you to move toward fertile land in your future. Um, I do feel like for a lot of you guys, you're, you're very much in the space of building, standing strong. And I feel like you're being rewarded through this transformation. Because Star, you're going to get what you want, but you do have to stand strong. So I feel like with this shift, you need to just let go. Let God, okay? Don't hold on to nothing, okay? Nothing. If it's a lack situation, let it go. You, if it's not adding let it go so we have the judgment here so for a lot of you guys eight of pentacles here you're working on i feel like there's a decision knight of swords here with the queen of pentacles some of you guys could be seeing it sensible for you to take action to move forward knight of cups here i feel like you're really building up your your resistance toward a situation for some of you guys you're building up your resistance toward a past situation for others of you or it could be the same person i feel like this is about building up your um your strength to manifest what you want by actually putting the work in necessary to gain it so we have the death card here why is this death card here why is this death card here why is the death card here? We have the three of wands, the four of wands in reverse. So I feel like you're very much resistant to an unbalanced relationship or an unbalanced plan. Um, I feel like universe with the death card here, world card with the death, there's definitely an end to a cycle here. Some of you guys have successfully completed a situation, even completion here. Now, even if you're completed, I'm going to be real with you. Some of you guys could be dealing with someone that is not complete. That ain't your fucking problem. They can hold on to you for a billion centuries. You move forward with your life and you allow yourself to grow and expand. They're someone else's choice to stay stuck in their life is their choice 
So we have, and for those of you that it's not anybody else, this is just you moving forward. You're really manifesting what it is that you desire based off of what you feel. So this could even be an involuntary manifestation coming to form. I feel like it's a, it is a change, but I feel like for a lot of you guys, with the star in the in the outcome, this the star in the outcome going equal one or two things. It's either going to be you gain what it is that you want by getting on the right path spiritually, or, or I mean that's wish fulfillment, or whatever this shift happens, it's going to put you in the mindset of seeing the bigger picture. So that's not always a good feeling, but it is a good change. All right, so we have the star energy here. And this could also be your ancestors because grandfathers and grandmothers are our ancestors. So far, and not saying that, I'm not talking about your grandmothers and grandfathers. I'm talking about your ancestors. This is what we call them, grandma, mom, mom, pop. You know what I'm saying? These are the people that was before. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, you could also be being guided spiritually by your ancestors. Page of Swords here, seeing the bigger picture. So some of you guys, you're going to see the bigger picture of what's delaying you from making this choice. Two of Wands, I feel like you're at a, a crossroads. In order to gain what you want, either some of you guys have to make a decision to speak your truth. Lovers here with the Page of Swords. Or some of you guys have to make a decision here. I feel like the decision chariot here is to move forward. Some of you guys need to make a decision to move forward. Page of Swords here. It could be some challenging information. You could be given some challenging information by speaking your truth or receiving some challenging information. But Page of Swords is the outcome here. And the Page of Swords was the underlying energy for the other reading. So both of these readings represent let go of lack situations or even lack mindsets in order to obtain what it is that you want or to create this cosmic shift within your life. So we're going to pull three cards of guidance moving forward. What messages do we have for the collective moving forward? God of conflict resolution. You are being encouraged to walk away from a current conflict. What messages, what guidance do we have? We got angel of expression. It says speak your truth and express yourself clearly. Okay. We're going to take the two that turned over. Oh, yeah. So the next one we have is angel of prayer. It says ask the universe and the angels for help and guidance. Okay. Like I said, we got Angel of Expression. It says, speak your truth and express yourself clearly. And we also have Angel of Soul Love. It says, time to look at how you value yourself. Could be dealing with issues of self-love. So, for a lot of you guys, you could have felt like you overindulged or you indulged into some activities that were not conductive to your path. That is okay. Everything is okay in moderation. Just, you know, pick up from now and make better decisions moving forward. This is all I have. Until next time, y'all.